guys, it's Ashley. Today I'm going to show you all of the different inserts I've made for my planner for 2021. And I created these to help set myself up for success when it comes to my goals, my routines, and uh, schedules that I have. So I'm going to show you what I've created, how I intend to use them, how they kind of work together. And then I'll also tell you which planners that these are going to go in. For supplies for all of these, all of the note sheets are from the Happy Planner. All of the stickers and washi are from the Happy Planner. And then I used a Micron, uh, here, I used a Micron 05 for the lines. And then I also used some Sharpie S notes, which you'll see here shortly. So those are the supplies that I used. And I just sat down, and this has taken me probably a week total to sit down and create these and what I initially do and I don't have the sheet with me but what I usually do is I brainstorm all of the inserts that I want to make for my planner and what each insert is for and like how I'm going to use it and then from there it's just creating the inserts so this first one that I have this is where I will plan out my goals for the year and so far I have five goals I don't want normally like I try to set a ton of goals for the year and I've noticed over the years that that just doesn't work for me whenever I have a bunch of goals and I'm pulling my focus all over the place I'll be honest things get half-assed <laughs> like I'm not putting all of my effort into a certain goal and actually focusing on that goal so for this year I have five major goals set and I have a um, empty box over here where I can set a sixth one if I want to but I probably won't so for example um, this one says home and so in 2021 we want to build our house Hopefully it happens in 2021. It may happen in 2022, but the goal is 2021. And so what I will do on this sheet, I've categorized each one of them. So you have home, nursing, fitness, YouTube, and coaching. And so for like home, for example, I will write out here that we want to build our dream home in 2021. So I will write that out. And then on the back of this sheet, this is where I will brainstorm all of the things that I need to do that's gonna help me move closer to that goal. Now on this page, this is not where I will be setting dates and trying to prioritize what needs to happen first, what, you know, kind of putting things in order. This page is just for a brain dump of all of the things that I can think of. And I created the categories for each. So we have home, nursing, fitness, YouTube, coaching, and then I still have that blank one over here. So if I do add another goal to this section, I have a spot here for it. And if I need more space to like brainstorm, I can just add another sheet to it and have them there together. So that one is going to be where I put my big goals at. And this is going to go inside of my classic or my catch all happy planner. Now the next sheet, these two kind of go together. This one is where I will set smaller goals for each month. That's going to help me move closer to my bigger goals. And I plan it out to where I will set up to three smaller goals for each month. Now there's five goals that I have here and I'm only setting three smaller goals. And the reason for that is, is there's some months that, for example, building our dream home, there's some months that there's not really anything that I really can do. Or if there's things that I can do, they are smaller things that I can do in like 20 or 30 minutes. So, or something like researching or something like that. So these are not like super, super tiny things, if that makes sense but they're also not big, large things that I need to do. Another one, for example, is my fitness goals. For 2021, I want to lose 30 pounds. And <laughs> the funny thing is, is, oh my gosh, you guys, that towards the end here of 2020, it just, everything just kind of went downhill really, really quickly and my mindset went downhill with it. And so I gained all the weight that I had lost back and I gained some more. So in 2021, we're getting rid of that crap. Um, and I want to lose 30 pounds, but see for January, one of my smaller goals here is going to be to master my morning and evening routine. That doesn't, like I'm not striving for perfection, but I do want to consistently stick with my morning and evening routine. And that's something smaller that I can do that's going to help me move closer to this. Because if I'm getting up early, I'm exercising first thing in the morning, starting my day off right, it's going to help me to eat better and to stay more focused towards my health and fitness goals. And so that's like a smaller thing that I'll do in January to move me closer to the skull, if that makes sense. And this one is going to stay with this sheet inside of my classic happy planner. And I do not have anything on the back of that. And I meant to say catch all happy planner, my catch all planner. Okay, this one here is my planning routine. And I have broken this down to daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. And so what I'll do here is this tells me what I need to plan for each day, 
what I'm planning for each week, what I'm planning for monthly, and what I'm planning for quarterly. So for example, daily, planning out fitness and nutrition, which there's nothing really to plan. I mean, I, I like meal plan and that kind of stuff, which that's a weekly thing. And I, I do all of that, but it's getting into my fitness plan and writing down what I actually ate, if I worked out, what workout did I do, how much water I drank, and then kind of journaling a little bit. So fitness and nutrition. Then we have habits, and this is where I'll use habit trackers, which I have inside of here. I'll show you those in a minute. Block scheduling my day. Um, looking at my goals and planning for them accordingly if I need to. Um, have Looking at my routine section, which is this one. I have a few other routines here I'll show you. And then checking all of my planners, which is actually a part of my evening routine, but making sure that I'm actually in my planners, I'm utilizing my planners. If I'm putting this much time and energy and effort into them, why not use them, right? So checking all my planners. Weekly, it is to brainstorm. So brainstorming all of the things that I need to get done that week. Uh, Pre-planning. So planning, pre-planning out my week and um, mapping out how I want the week to go. Planning for my goals. Creating spreads for the week. Checking the monthly calendar because I, I have a bad habit of not doing that. Like I'll plan out the monthly calendar and then I don't go back and look at it. And then here I put a list of things that I plan for each week. And this is just kind of like a smaller list. But we have like my filming and editing schedule, when I take photos, meal planning, any appointments that we have, looking at our family calendar. So in my kitchen we have a white board that is a calendar and that this is our family hub. This is where if we have appointments, um, our schedules, anything like that goes on that calendar so the entire family can see it. And so when I'm planning my week out, I go into the kitchen, I look at that calendar and I see what we have going on. And then planning time to keep up with memory keeping because I wanna keep up with that in 2021. Monthly, we have review goals, plan out my goals for the next month. So that's where this sheet will come into play, where I'm deciding what my next three smaller goals are that's gonna move me closer towards my bigger goals. And then we have set up my monthly spread, set up my habit tracker, and review my planner system. And so this reviewing my planner system is making sure that what I'm doing inside of my planner is actually working for me and then making adjustments if needed. And then quarterly, we have review the previous quarter's goals. Did I accomplish them? If I did, let's move forward. If I didn't, what happened and where can I make adjustments at? Set goals for the next quarter, evaluate my planning system again and my routines, and then setting up my planner for an, a new quarter. So whenever I set up my planners for 2021, I'm gonna set them up for three months at a time. And so that's my planning routine, and there's nothing on the back of that one. That one is going to stay inside of my catch-all planner as well. And for the next one I have, this is for my morning and evening routine. Now with these two, I don't try to do anything crazy. I'm not trying to do 700 things before 5 a.m. I'm not trying to get up at 5 a.m. Uh, that's not, not happening. Uh, but anyways, for morning routine, here's what I wrote out to the side of it. Even if you decide to sleep in. So what I tend to do is I'll decide intentionally I want to sleep in in the morning, which is fine. But because I slept in, I feel like I'm behind, so then I don't actually do my morning routine. And that has to change. So here's my morning routine. Coffee and clean up. Here's what I used to do. I used to get up in the mornings. I'd make myself my coffee. I come into my office. I sit down at my desk, and I start planning my day. Well, I noticed that what would happen is because I wasn't awake yet. I'm a slow riser, y'all. It takes me a hot minute to get woke up. But because I'm not awake yet, I wasn't focusing on my plans, and I wasn't planning effectively. Well, then I would get on my phone and I'd start watching videos or scrolling through Instagram. And then before I know it, my time that I allotted for my morning routine was up and I didn't actually complete my morning routine. But I've noticed that when I get up in the mornings, I drink my coffee while I clean up. So I may do the dishes. I may clean off the counters. I may pick up some clothes and put them in the washer. Just something to get my body moving, but not an actual workout because I do not like getting up and instantly exercising, but just something smaller for like 10 or 15 minutes where I'm getting up, getting some things cleaned up, getting myself woke up. Then I come in and I sit down and plan out my day, and that's when I'm more effective with my planning. So coffee and clean up, planning my day, doing my Bible study, then doing my workout, showering and getting ready, which the getting ready one is the main thing. I'll shower every day, but normally what happens is I end up in sweatpants and a hoodie and then I just want to snuggle up on the couch and watch Netflix the rest of the day. So for morning routine, I want to 
actually get ready for the day. So like fix my hair, maybe put on a little bit of makeup and wear a pair of jeans because I am more productive whenever I am actually dressed and not in comfy clothes. And then my evening routine, which I'm fairly good at this. The only problem that I have that I've noticed for myself is if it's late, I tend to not do it. So what I wrote over here is get it done regardless of what time it is. Um, so here's my evening routine, checking all of my planners. So going back through everything, writing down what I need to kind of planning for the next day, getting my coffee ready for the morning, laying out my clothes, laying out my workout stuff, and then reading before bed instead of scrolling on my phone, which I used to be really good at this. I used to never take my phone in there with me. Um, but I've fallen out of that habit here recently. So I need to get back into ditching the phone at night because if not, I'll stay up in there scrolling Instagram. So that is going to be my morning and evening routine list. This is also going to stay inside of my catch all planner. And then next up, I have my cleaning schedule. Now, if you know me, you know that I love to clean. It brings me joy. I really like doing it. It's something um, that I use to kind of de-stress, but it's also something that I use to procrastinate on the things that I should be doing that are going to help move me closer towards my goals because I feel like I'm actually being productive, right? But I'm not actually doing the things that are really important to me. So what I've done is I've set up a cleaning schedule. That way I'm not spending hours each day cleaning or hours every other day cleaning and kind of wasting my time. So here's what I have. I have daily, every day I'll do a load of laundry, do the dishes, and 15 minutes of cleaning. We may not have a full load, so I'll do like a smaller load of laundry, making sure the dishes are done. 15 minutes of cleaning, what that means is opposite of whatever's happening here. So for Monday, I wrote out office in the hall bathroom. Well, my 15 minutes of cleaning on Monday may be to clean up the kitchen or pick up the living room or clean up, um, you know, I don't know, my son's room or something. And then, so that's Monday, office and hall bathroom. Tuesday is the kitchen, living room, and laundry room. Those three are all right there together, so they're easy to clean. Wednesday is just a clean up day. So like generally just picking up things, making sure everything's tidied up. Thursday is Levi's room and the hall bathroom. Friday is the kitchen, living room, and laundry room again. Those are our, like high traffic areas. Saturday is the master bedroom and master bath. Sunday is another cleanup day, so just making sure everything stays cleaned up. And then I put other over here, and I have clean out cart, check the filters, and then I also put like clean windows, um, which I'll do that as needed. Tend to outdoor spaces as needed and flip mattresses. So that's gonna be my cleaning schedule. It's gonna stay inside of my catch-all planner with these other ones. And then this one is my weight tracker. I really love the way that this one turned out. I actually did it backwards. I meant to start here and like do it this way. And then after I laid all the stickers out, I realized I flip-flopped these and I should have like, I flip-flopped the boxes. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, so right now I'm 155 pounds, which I know some of you guys are watching this and you're like, I can't believe she's sharing her weight. Y'all, if you're stressed out about your weight, don't stress out. This is just a number. It is a number that many of us want to see go down. Yes, but don't put too much into it, okay? Uh, but I want to get back down to 125 pounds. That's when I feel amazing. That's when I feel strong. That's when I have the most energy. So that's what I want to get back down to. So we have 155, and then it goes to 154, 3, and I just keep doing this. And then what I will do is I will take, like, um, either the Sharpie S note or a mild liner. And as I hit these little milestones, I'll fill in the bubble and just highlight it. So that's going to be my weight tracker. This is going to stay inside of my fitness planner. This one is a habit tracker that I created for January. Now here I have it set up to where I can track six habits. I don't know that I'll be tracking six of them, but I went ahead and set it up that way just in case. And I haven't titled the habit trackers yet. So I don't know for sure just yet what I'm going to be tracking, but I know it's going to be um, like morning routine and evening routine so I can keep track of those things because I really want to master those. It'll probably be uh, exercise, hitting my water, nutrition, so staying on point with that. And I'm not for sure about the other one yet, but this is going to be my January habit tracker. And uh, same thing, I'll use either a mild liner or a Sharpie S note to color in the days if I complete that habit. This one is February's Habit Tracker. I am not finished with this one yet. I need to go back in and on these little boxes, add in the numbers of the month. So like one, two, three, and finish that part of it. But that's going to be February's. I'm not going to set what habits I'm tracking in February until closer to February. 
but I got this one finished and ready to go. Now I need to, to make one for March because I want to get my planner set up for the entire quarter. So the only thing else I need to make is another habit tracker for March. And then these ones, these are some YouTube planning sheets. One of my goals in 2021 is to get a consistent schedule with YouTube and post more content for you guys. I love making videos. I love sharing things with you guys and trying to help as much as I can. I'm just not very consistent with it. And that needs to change in 2021. So I created these fun little sheets and I actually filmed. So I made one for January, February, and for March. And I filmed the entire process for all three of these. And I will link that down below in the description box. So you guys can watch that if you want to. But what I will be doing with these is we're listing out the videos that I want to post for the month. So having like an ideas list. And then I will also be keeping track of where that video is at in the process. There's a lot of steps that goes into creating a YouTube video. So I'll keep track of that here. And I have a little key down here to let me know where it's at. So if I'm um, decided that it's a video I'm going to do for next month, it'll have an N. S is for scripting the video. F is for filming it like it's been filmed. E is for edited and P is for posted. So that's going to be for January, for February, and then also for March. So those are the inserts that I created. And then I also found my uh, vision board that I made a hot minute ago. I don't even know how long this has been, but I found this in one of my old planners and I'm definitely adding this back into my planner for this year because I love this vision board. This one, um, this is from the Happy Planner. It's a part of their memory keeping line. And then the images in here I found on Pinterest. I printed them off on uh, regular printer paper and then I cut them down to fit inside of here. So the front one is for health and fitness. We flip it over. This one is for like my family, my marriage, my son, being present, kind of relaxing, going on adventures, a mindset, find the uh, joy in the ordinary. So this one is just kind of general overall wellness. And I really love this one. And then I got my fitness one on the front. So this is definitely going to go inside of my fitness planner for 2021. But so far, those are the inserts that I have other than making a March habit tracker. I don't think I'll be making anything else, but I will make a running list of inserts that I want to make in the future. So like, let's say we're in the middle of January and I realize that I need to make a new insert for something else. I'll make a list of that. I don't have that insert yet. It's just probably just going to be a um, happy notes paper. I probably won't even decorate it. I'll just write everything down on it. But these are going to be my inserts for 2021. Feel free to make them. Feel free to copy them if you want. I don't mind whatsoever because I know sometimes coming up with different things like this is hard. If you do copy it and you post it to Instagram, all I ask is that you please tag me. I'd love to see it. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because my uh, planner setup videos are coming very soon. And I'm really excited to show you guys how I'm setting up my planners for 2021. So, all right guys, that's gonna be my inserts for the next quarter. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.